Okay, so um, the idea is to, to get something that will get provide some visual feedback of what's happening inside Live Zulper. Yeah. So uh, I've made this pedal board that's uh, pretty simple to use. It's like a normal controller for uh, for looper. Uh, so the idea instead of right now it says there's five loopers in the set I'm going to delete this one just to show you that it automatically detects that no there's only four loopers so I can switch from one to the other select whichever looper I'm going to on this track add, add another looper so instead of what you do instead of uh, loading a looper you load uh, a, a module rack that contains a looper, normal looper, and a Max for Life device that talks to the, the pedal board. So now this one knows that it's, there, there are five loopers. Uh, the only thing you need to do is map the big button to the play button of the device. And hope, off you go. Uh, that's, that's weird, weird behavior. Okay, now it's recording. You pl press again, it starts playing. And overdubbing, playing, whatever, you can stop it. It's right because there's a sample on it, so if I hold the, plus, the stop button, it's going to clear the sample, and I can start recording again, and blah, blah, whatever. <laughs> um, and then, well, you can switch from, so number four is playing, I can stop number four, go back to number five, which is still playing. Number one, if I press the select button in the middle, it will jump to the looper number one. So that's just to select and to, to display the looper that's selected. See? Uh, okay, uh, what else? Well, yeah, you can arm the track by holding the, the select button. Right? It tells you this, this track is armed. So if I go to number three, this one is not armed. I hold it and now it's armed. And that's it for the looper part. Now, if I hold the plus button, I switch to synth mode, and doing the with the, the plus and minus, now we'll select the scene, and you can launch the corresponding scene. So it, the, the color is the color of the selected scenes. So, so you see this. It's not actually the scenes that are selected. It's uh, there's on this track. There's a, another device, which is called, which is called state of the scene. And you'll, it will, sh it will uh, display the color of the clip that's on it, and uh, so and this one tells you if the clip is playing or if it's uh, above or below. So this this is a clip that's playing. It's green. If it's above, it's yellow, green, and bl blue is below the, the current clip playing scene. Uh, okay, that's that's another cool thing because it means like you can have it you can control almost your whole set with only this device now I, I go back to synth mode and I that's oh sorry disappeared another cool feature is that you, there are two two uh, expression pedal inputs so, <laughs> that's cool so uh, this on this device I, I've mapped these two parameters to the pedal so you know you see it's moving because it's number th three that's moving but if I go for instance on number four and I'm going to map pedal one of number four to the volume of this one so right now it's controlling okay, the minimum here so with the when I'm on number four I control this one and if I go back to m number three I control these ones. So it means that with one pedal, you can control almost as many parameters as you want. And there are two inputs, so, sorry? Is that a mini CC value or what, what is it? Yeah, it is, well, it is MIDI, but it's like intelligent MIDI. It's not, I didn't map, I didn't do the MIDI mapping. You know, it's, uh, well, it's Max for Life, so it's a bit more powerful. So it's a bit like push, actually. Like on push, you've got eight buttons, but they have lots of different functions depending on the context. That's, that's the same, like, if, I, uh, if I'm on number two, it could be like the, the filter. And if I go on uh, number three, it could be, uh, or four, it could be a delay or whatever. It's That's just, brilliant. yeah. Did you, need to a, did you need to install a script or something? Or? That it's, uh, the script is included. It's a Max for Life script. It's available since Life 10. 
it's available for... Oh, there's no, nothing specific? For, for there's nothing. Project. It's just the only thing you need to install when the first time is to just to save this device in your user library. So it, it comes with a, with a live set that you open and you save just this one. This one or two devices? There are two devices. Two devices yeah. Because while well, some people want to, some people won't use this state of the scene feature, so uh, I made it two different, uh, two different uh, um, devices. Okay. And that's a an, last thing that I'm ro wo working on right now. It's like if you hold the minus button, it goes to MIDI mode, which is that's norm yeah, normal like normal normal MIDI, MIDI button. Yeah. yeah. But then I'm going to I'm going to to add another option which is uh, you'll be able to choose the track so uh, you, you choose track a track yeah. track selector and then this will allow you to record on the first available clip so it, you, you'll be able to record audio audio clip or, or midi clips with the pedal board as well which means you can time stretch because live looper doesn't time stretch so both audio and midi this Both audio and MIDI, yeah. Oh my! Wow. See, that's so really cool. It's it's, it's, a, it's working only. I, I just I, I did it on the plane to 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 to, to come here. Yeah. I didn't want to to, to like on, on this device when you there's a, a button here. When you click on it, you've got lots of informations that are useful. Let me go back to synth mode. Okay, so this is the selected clip, and when you launch a clip, this is the playing clip, selected clip. And you've got lots of information that's important, like w when you're playing on, on stage, that's, well, that's the idea of the, this window. And I'm going to add information about the loopers too, like because the looper one is uh, two bars long. And, uh, oh, even be better to, yeah. uh, how much is it? Yeah, it's uh, available on Kickstarter until uh, December, early December. And it's uh, two in dollars, you mean? Well, or euros is 260. And uh, so dollars should be two, so. m less than 300, okay. I think. Yeah. And, uh, and there's another version which is uh, like designed, it's a limited edition designed by a friend of mine who's an artist, which is pretty amazing. So have a look on the Kickstarter, it's called awesome. State of the Loop. Just, just to, uh, you can type Ableton Loop uh, and I'll come at the, as the first the result. State of the Loop, yeah. Okay, very cool, man. Thanks. I love it, this is good stuff. Yeah.